the day learner, my name is Ma'am Marbis Amantara. Today, we're going to discuss about the topic in quarter 4 week 1, entitled Analyze How Visual and Multimedia Elements Contribute to the Meaning of a Text. It was taken from the M5BC 4D 1.7.1. Let's review first about the fact and opinion. What is a fact? A fact is something that is true and can be proven, while an opinion is what you think or feel about something that cannot be proven. Now, let's answer the activity below. We have 60 seconds to do this activity. In the directions, you need to read each sentence. Determine if it is a fact or an opinion. Write F if it is fact and O if it is opinion on the space provided. Number one, yellow is my least favorite color. Two, our national hero is Dr. Jose de Rizal. Three, a female cat is called green. Four, Christmas is the best part of the year. And five, I really enjoyed the football game last weekend. Five seconds. Okay, time's up. Now, let's reveal the answers for each item. For number one, that is an opinion, O. Number two, that is a fact, F. For number three, that is a fact also, F. For number four, that is an opinion. For number five, that is considered an opinion, O. Now, I will show you a picture and then you tell me if it is a multimedia. Okay, so did you see the picture class? Now, what do you notice from the picture? Yes, there are people walking. And why? And what are they doing? Aside from walking, the tablet notice. Okay, while walking, they are wearing face masks and face shields. Why? Okay, to, to uh, protect themselves from the virus COVID 19, right? And then at the back, there is a mural, and what do you notice from the mural? Okay, the mural is colorful. And what else? The mural is composed of different people, and we call them. That's right, those are front, front liners. And then there is a phrase or sentence above the people in the mural what is it a big salute to corona wireless now from this picture is it considered a multimedia yes this is considered a multimedia because when you say multimedia multimedia uses a combination of different content forms such as text, audio, images, graphics, animations, video, and interactive content. So, from the picture a while ago, we can consider them as, or we can consider it as a multimedia because there is a text, right? The text, a big salute to Corona Warriors, right? And the text has colors. And then, Picture is also considered images or image. Uh, the mural is a graphic. 
ಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಲ್ಟಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆಡಿಯೋ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅನಿಮಾ ಅನಿಮೇಟೆಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ನಾವು ಆನ್ ದಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮೇನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಲ್ಟಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ when we say text text is the basic element of multimedia it involves the use of text types sizes colors and background color so from this example the title text here has black color and then the background color of the the word text is pink right so this is the basic element of the multimedia text composed of letters right okay this is an example of text this uh, composed of letters and then fonts different fonts different colors of fonts right next images pictures or graphics We say images, pictures, or graphics is a representation of the external form of a person or thing. A graphic makes the multimedia application attractive. They help to illustrate ideas through still pictures. When we say still pictures, they are not moving. So there are two examples or categories of graphics. we have bitmaps and vector when we say bitmaps uh, for example uh, the paintings those are bitmaps while vector are uh, are drawings so graphics use of different colors right illustrations with idea like this one pictures of or image of children happy children and different colors then we have the sound or audio when we say sound or audio a multimedia application may require the use of speech music and sound effects these are called audio or the sound element next video video provides a powerful impact in a multimedia program in multimedia applications digital video is gaining popularity because it can be edited easily so today like you you can make your own video and then you can also utilize some different applications in your cell phone right like time master what else uh, uh, canva you can use also canva in editing our videos what else filmora and so much more when you say animation is a process of making a static image look like it is moving in multimedia digital animation is use okay so those pictures those drawings when you make them move and to make uh, when the image look like it is moving it is an animation there are two categories for animation we have 2d or 3d when you say 2d two dimension 3d three dimension yung meron of high weight length yung two dimension my width and length na okay so first activity you have to identify what elements of multimedia are associated 
with the pictures. Write AU for audio, E for text, AN for animation, V for video, and G for graphic. So, in the picture, for number one, what is it? Is it audio, text, animation, video, or graphic? Okay, that is an animation. So, Princess Sarah. No? Animation yan. Kasi drawing lang yan. Tapos, parang pinagalaw. No? Sabi nga, yung still pictures looks like moving. So, animation yung tawag ko. How about number two? So, the girl is listening to the music. Alright, that's correct. That is audio. Because of the sound. No? Next. The monkey and the turtle. What is that? There are lots of letters. Text. Okay, what is it? Correct. T. Text. How about this? The people are watching this film. Okay, that is video. This one. An image. Okay, that is graphic. Again, let's review. What are the different elements of multimedia? Alright, so there are different elements of multimedia like audio, video, animation, text, and image or graphics. Now, how they contribute to the meaning of the text? Okay. For example, if you just read the story by only reading the text, you can easily grasp the meaning. But with the use of images, sound effects, uh, videos, you can grasp easily the meaning and the content of that text. It can also use your, the different elements of multimedia can also be used in any ceremonial uh, activities or rather to entertain brethren. What else? To narrate a story, right? Uh, to, to describe the artistic expression of the artist. So, yun yung mga uh, gamit no? ng mga elements of the media sa isang text. Now, text. Ayan, the different elements of the media are, again, text, image, graphic, picture, sound, audio, animation, and video. Now, let's answer this evaluation. Analyze how the following elements of multimedia contribute to the meaning of the text. Match column A to column B. So, in letter A, we have number 1, text, 2, graphic, 3, animation, 4, video, 5, sound. So, in letter B, you have to match them by this uh, different meaning of the text. For letter A, it makes the static image like moving. B, it gives a powerful impact. C, it gives message that can be read. D, it makes the multimedia application attractive. Letter E, multimedia application may require the use of speech, music, and sound effects. Okay, now, let's reveal the answer. So number 1, letter C. Number 2, letter B. Number 3, letter A. Number 4, letter B. Number 5, letter E. As for your homework, continue to answer activities on your module of quarter for week one. Thank you for participating. Again, I am your teacher for today, for this week, ma'am, Mercedes M. Montero. Goodbye.